The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at the GP 1800R SVHO. The R is for racing, SVHO, Super Vortex, high output. This is a pure racing machine. Let's take a look. Now this is an all new design for this model year. It's got a much more stylized look and it's feature packed. Let's take a look at some of them. The handlebars are inspired by the closed course racing circuit. Naturally, they tilt. Contoured grips to both sides, trigger on the right, ride control on the left. Give it one hit, it goes into neutral. Hold it back, it goes into reverse. To me, ride is very intuitive and it also lets you decelerate when you're at speed. Plus, you can maneuver while keeping both hands on the handlebars. And speaking of maneuverability, this also has the trim TDE, the thrust directional enhancer. Gives you more control at low speed and a little more thrust when you're backing off a trailer. We also have the cruise no wake button. If you're operating at idle speed and you press and hold this button, you'll hear three beeps and you go into no wake mode. Now you can cruise through a no wake zone without having your hand on the throttle trigger. When you're at cruise speed, if you press and hold this, again you'll hear the three beeps and then you squeeze the throttle trigger all the way down and it'll maintain the speed at which you push that button at and you can adjust it up and down with your thumb on the right handlebar. And of course we have the mandatory factory kill switch. Next, we have the 4.3 inch LED screen and that is controlled by a touchpad right underneath the handlebar. Moving to drive control, among other things, this has the auto trim feature. Now, this is an industry first and it's very cool. When you turn it on, you've got launch control and cornering control. Launch control will adjust the trim of the nozzle to give you a more level acceleration. Cornering control will also trim the nozzle so that you can put the bow down and dig into the corners a lot better and it all happens automatically. Just to the left there's a blank pad. That's where the audio controls would go if you got the factory installed speakers that go right alongside the hull into the footwell, seamlessly integrating into the hull, much like the mirrors do. And these speakers are kind of a big deal. They're four and a half inch connected to a two channel amplifier. And of course there's Bluetooth connectivity so you can play music off of your phone and the sound is outstanding. There's 28.4 gallons of storage in one, two, three compartments and frankly this center one is a big deal. It goes considerably deep. This is the biggest engine that Yamaha makes. It's the 1.8 liter supercharged intercooled engine and combined with the Nano XL2 technology there's an impressive power to weight ratio. A couple of additional features for the performance minded buyer. There are race inspired sponsons and a new design to the intake rate and the jet pump. And of course it's got the usual upscale Yamaha features. The scalloped seat, the wider deck with the non-skid matting on it, reboarding step, and improved tow ring. The GP800R has a length overall of 131.9 inches, can carry from one to three people, has a dry weight of 772 pounds, and holds 18.5 gallons of fuel. Now, this model is the same used in the racing circuit, having virtually won every major world, national, and endurance racing title last year, and it's ready for racing right off the showroom floor. She has deeper, wider, and self-training footwells and improved rider ergonomics. Of course, she's also got a new muscular appearance that goes well with her performance. The center of gravity has been moved aft, so she's much more responsive for this model year. And as exciting and as blistering speeds up to 69 miles per hour may be, she's also fun for more docile riding and cruising. It's not for beginners, but for intermediate to advanced riders, and it's hard to keep your heart from beating out of your chest as you squeeze that throttle trigger. This is really the epitome of Yamaha's performance machines. It's got blistering acceleration, clings to the water, and in fact, this is the unit that's used on the racing circuit. All of it comes together in the GP1800R from Yamaha. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.